While the explosion of microinvasive glaucoma surgery, or MIGS, has been incredibly exciting, the reality for many is that MIGS can feel overwhelming, confusing, and downright daunting. If you've ever felt any of these emotions, you're in the right place. Welcome to MIGS Made Clear, where we simplify the complexities of MIGS and guide you step-by-step -step through this transformative surgical field. This six-part video series is supported through an unrestricted educational grant from New World Medical, Nova Eye Medical, and Sight Sciences. First, let's briefly define what MIGS is. MIGS stands for Microinvasive Glaucoma Surgery, a set of advanced procedures designed to reduce intraocular pressure in glaucoma patients. Unlike traditional glaucoma surgeries like trabeculectomies or tube shunts, MIGS procedures are less invasive, offer quicker recovery times for patients, and fewer complications. Let me take you back to when I first encountered MIGS. My name is Dr. Constance Okeke and I'm an Ivy League trained glaucoma specialist and cataract surgeon with over 15 years of experience performing and training others on various MIGS procedures. As an early adopter, I was excited by the potential I saw in these innovative procedures, especially for my patients with mild to moderate glaucoma who weren't responding well to maximum medical therapy or laser treatments. The idea of offering them a less invasive option than the traditional glaucoma surgery with its associated risks was incredibly appealing. I remember being taught by Dr. Don Minkler at Columbia University on how to understand what was being done with this technique and in a wet lab how to perform it. I was so impressed that day and really blown away by this type of technology. In the beginning, I was hesitant too when approaching a new device. Though each new mix procedure that came out seemed exciting, it could also feel like another mountain to climb. But what kept me grounded was focusing on the basics, the mechanism of how each procedure worked. By understanding the outflow system of the eye and pinpointing where it could get obstructed, I could see clearly how each mix technique was designed to enhance outflow. Over the years, this approach paid off. Not only did I become proficient in multiple, well, actually most mixed procedures, but I also had the privilege of training numerous other eye care providers. I'd walk them through the details of the trabecular outflow system, explaining how different mixed procedures address specific blockages, and then seeing their aha moments and knowing that they could now help their patients with the same confidence was incredibly rewarding. So if you're feeling overwhelmed or confused about MIGS, know that I've been there and I'm here to guide you through it step-by-step step, so you can confidently integrate these game-changing procedures into your practice. Now, let's dive into the heart of what we'll be discussing in the MIGS Made Clear six-part video series. We'll discuss the various MIGS procedures based on their mechanisms action. I've outlined six key mechanisms and we'll explore each one in detail. This approach will help you understand how each procedure enhances the outflow system so you can determine the best options for your patients. Section one, review of angle anatomy. First, we'll start with a basic review of the angle anatomy. Understanding the structure of the angle is crucial because this is where the trabecular meshwork resides. We'll cover the key components, including the trabecular meshwork, Schlem's canal, and the collector channels. Section two, understanding flow and obstruction of the outflow system. Next, we'll move on to understanding the flow of the trabecular outflow system, thinking of it like plumbing in the house. The aqueous humor flows through the trabecular meshwork into Schlem's canal and then through the collector channels. We'll discuss the potential areas where this flow can get obstructed, which is a primary cause of increased intraocular pressure in glaucoma. Section three, mix devices in each class and how they work. Finally, We'll discuss the mixed devices that perform these techniques. For example, the trabectome, which I mentioned earlier uses coniotomy. Other devices like the Kahoop Dual Blade and the Trabex Plus also fall into this category. We'll go over how each device works, see how they are performed surgically, review their unique features and how they differ, and then discuss the types of patients that they are suited best for. By the end of the series, you'll have a clear roadmap to navigate the world of mix with confidence. Before we wrap up, here's what I'd like you to do next to get the most out of the series. First, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos in the series. We've got a lot of valuable content coming up that you won't want to miss. 
Next, if you know other eye care providers who would benefit from this series, share the video with them. Let's spread the knowledge and help more people feel confident about MIGS. While you're waiting for the series to start, I've got some resources for you. Check out my free report, Survey Insights, on understanding the top challenges surgeons face when adopting new mix procedure. You'll find the link in the description box below. This guide is an excellent reference to help you prepare for your journey of adopting a new mix procedure so you have a better understanding of the expectations. And if you're still wondering, how well does MIGS even work? And what does a good MIGS outcome look like? Well, take a look at this guide in the description box as well. Real life MIGS success, 15 clinical vignettes showcasing successful outcomes. This will give you a solid understanding of the effectiveness and benefits of these procedures so you can build on momentum to start taking action yourself towards getting these types of results. Additionally, if you want to better understand glaucoma and how to maintain healthy vision, consider getting a copy of the Glaucoma Guidebook, Expert Advice on Maintaining Healthy Vision. I wrote this multi-award winning Johns Hopkins Health book that's, that empowers patients to protect their eye health through education and taking action. And for those who want a sneak peek of what's to come in our series, download MIGS Made Clear 101, a primer on microinvasive glaucoma surgery. This primer discusses basic angle anatomy, the outflow system, and briefly covers the various MIGS mechanisms of action we will discuss in detail in this series. You can find the link in the description box below. All right, let's recap what we've covered today. We started by acknowledging how exciting yet overwhelming MIGS can be for many eye care providers. I shared my journey as an early adopter of MIGS and how focusing on the mechanisms helped me overcome the challenges. We then outlined the six key mechanisms of MIGS procedures we'll be discussing. Goniotomy, trabecular bypass stents, viscodilation, cyclophotocoagulation, subconjunctival stents, and combination procedures, and we'll dive into how they enhance the outflow system, the specific devices involved, and their ideal patient profiles. Now, here's what I'd like you to do next. Subscribe to the Eye Glaucoma YouTube channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Share this video with colleagues who might benefit from it. And while you wait for the series to start, check out the free resources of the top challenges surgeons face when adopting a new mix procedure and the guide on what could mixed outcomes look like, both available in the description box below. And if you want a basic understanding of glaucoma, check out the Glaucoma Guidebook, Expert Advice on Maintaining Healthy Vision for a comprehensive understanding of glaucoma and how to maintain healthy vision. And for a sneak peek of what's to come, consider downloading the MIGS Made Clear 101, a primer on microinvasive glaucoma surgery that will give you an overview of the topics we'll cover in the series, helping you get a head start on understanding MIGS. Thanks for joining me today. I am so excited to have you on this journey to make MIGS clear and accessible. This video has been brought to you by the AGE Initiative and iGlaucoma.